Hi, friends. Uh, let me invite all of you to our uh, uh, channel, Transformation Unlimited. Do subscribe without fat. In this video, I would like to share some information about the leadership. Today's youth are living with an explosion of technological advances, especially in the area of the internet, mobile applications, and uh, multiplayer gaming. Uh, this increases the need to control being overwhelmed by the sheer overload of activities and information. We need to see beyond uh, their examinations and their leisure activities. We need to inculcate the quality of leadership. Leadership values are crucial life skills to students because they enable students to be able to manage their career progression and financial independence when they mature. The accessibility of updated information is not a problem. However, there must be a leadership portion for a student to make a decision and act on this information. Leadership values are not only relevant for periods of success, but also help a student go through times of adversity. What is leadership? Leadership is action, not position, is a popular quote. Interestingly, most people are, are on the threshold of leadership opportunity. Sometimes disguise is a position on other occasions. It is an invitation for action. Take, for instance, the captain of a cricket team and its star player. The former uses his appointment as captain to display his leadership skills, especially his uh, forte of inspiring the best of in his teammates. The latter continues to lead by example through his awesome achievements as a player. It is pertinent to note that captain craves success while action man dreams about being captain again. Hence, it is prudent to say that leadership is all about action being worthy of a position. It is about being a captain who can steer the ship towards a progressive destination. The acronym SHIP says it all. S stands for self, H stands for home, I stands for industry, and P stands for people. Captioning your own self is the first step. Here, inculcating the positive attitude habit is of high priority. Self-esteem can be fortified by positive auto-suggestions. Do your SWOT analysis on a regular basis. Home is the next critical element in leadership. It reminds both a sufferer for stress and creator for stress, if ignored. We must not only fulfill our responsibilities as a member of our family, but also take initiative in getting things done in our homes. Industry symbolizes our career. The question is, are you industrious, hardworking? Right now, our career is of education. Nevertheless, we need to start looking at the range of careers that will excite us. Increase the depth of our knowledge in the career of your choice so that you are ready for it. Leading people is all about communicating, delegating, team building, and team working. Remember that the performance of any leader is as good as the performance of the team that he leads. Can you convert every group that you belong to into a team? Leadership is about believing and practicing the concept. Working together works. The above four dimensions of leadership are the key areas of attention and in order of priority. Ignoring any of these would be foolish. The effectiveness in all would be the confirmation of your worthiness to be, to be the first amongst even equals. Enterprising leadership. The future's unknown. It's a story untold. It's a motive unseen. 
to be made by you and me it is said so well that there are three kinds of people in this world ones that make things happen others who watch things happen and yet others who wonder what happened it is our decision to be proactive reactive or inactive it is for us to know that the future we desire can be born out of our ability to be enterprising an essential quality for leaders an enterprising person is one who sees opportunity in all areas of life someone who comes across a pile of scrap metal and sees the making of a wonderful sculpture to be enterprising is to keep your eyes open and your mind active it's about being skilled enough confident enough creative enough and disciplined enough to seize opportunity enterprising people always see the future in the present they find a way to take advantage of a situation not be burdened by it they are not lazy they don't wait for opportunities to come to them they go after the opportunities it is all about keeping yourself actively working toward your ambition enterprise is two things the first is creativity you need creativity to see what's out there and to shape it to your advantage you need creativity to take a different approach to be different what goes hand in hand with the creativity of enterprise is the second requirement the courage to be creative you need to courage to see things differently courage to go against the crowd courage to take a different approach courage to stand alone if you have to and most importantly courage to choose activity over inactivity for leaders being enterprising doesn't just relate to the ability to be successful being enterprising also means feeling good enough about yourself having enough self worth to want to see advantages and opportunities that will make a difference in your future okay and by doing so you will increase your confidence your courage your creativity your self worth and your enterprising nature for leadership is a skill for self improvement in conclusion a leader is one with the qualities like l listens more and speaks less e enthuses and motivates others a always see the positive side of things d disciplined and dedicated e enterprising attitude r reorganizes in wake of failure that's called as a leader how do you find this friends you can also become a leader think like a leader act like a leader and be a leader i wish you all the best okay so please do comment uh, because i would like to know what are your opinions okay bye bye